Hey loves, welcome back to my kitchen and in today's video we are making this Dominica peppermint but making it fancy so let's get cooking. Okay guys so in our first pot we are using a small pot and we are adding one cup of water and half a cup of white sugar. We are going to stir till the sugar is dissolved and we are going to let it boil till it gets thick which takes about 20 minutes now guys traditionally this part is done after the white part of the peppermint is made but because of the mold I am using I am going a little fancy today so I have to make the red part first so that I can put it to the bottom of the mold so once we have our sugar dissolved we are going to boil till it gets thick <laughs> Now about 10 minutes into boiling this first pot, we are going to prepare our second pot and to that we are adding 2 cups of water and 1 cup of white sugar. We are doing the same thing and stirring to dissolve and we are going to let it boil for about 20 minutes. Now guys for this first pot, once you see it starts getting to this point, you want to bend your pot. Once you see this starting to happen, you know that we are getting right where we need to be. I'm going to just take my red coloring and add about four to five drops. Because we want that nice rich red color in our peppermint. Once we're at this point where you see this is starting to get white hair, we are going to turn it off. And we are adding half a teaspoon of peppermint oil. And we are going to mix it up a bit, bit, bit. Now guys, be careful. The steam from it has the peppermint scent in there and it can be a little strong, so don't get too caught up in there. <laughs> so we are going to beat it a little bit in order to get it ready to pour into our mold. Okay, we are going to go over to our mold. Okay, and we are going to pour, spread a little. Now just remember guys, when we are pouring, it does not have to be perfect and it does not have to fill up the entire mold. Because when we put in the white and it has both white and red at the top, it looks absolutely beautiful. So this is what it looks like in our mold, so we're going to set it aside. Now we go back to our other pot that is on the fire and we're going to wait for it to boil down. We're at that point guys let's see yep we're definitely here we're gonna lower our stove just to be sure check for the sides you see this is starting to form up here so you know we are basically where we need to where we need to be mix it around so now we are going to turn off our stove we are adding one teaspoon of the peppermint oil. We're going to stir that in, stir that in. Now guys, remember when you're using the peppermint oil for this recipe, you want to ensure that it is food grade peppermint oil that you are able to digest. Now we are going to beat the sugar and peppermint mixture for about a minute or so until we see it gets to a nice cloudy color. Once it gets to that cloudy color, we are then going to pour it into our mold.
So we are here. We're gonna pour it into our mold. Always remember you want to pour this as quickly as you can because once the air starts heating, it's going to start getting firm. We are now going to let it set for at least 20 minutes or so until it's nice and cool and we can remove it from the mold. Now after it is nice and cool we stretch out the mold a little so we can get it to be detached and then we take out that peppermint and guys this is so beautiful. My excitement was absolutely off the roof when I made this peppermint, guys. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. They are so beautiful. See what I meant when I said that it does not have to fill in the entire bottom of the mold. The white and the red mixed in at the top looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Now, traditionally, this peppermint is made by just putting it into squares and putting the red dot on the top. But like I said, I wanted to make this fancy and I absolutely, absolutely loved that I used the leaf mold because peppermint is a leaf. <laughs> But this was it guys for this video let me know in the comment section if you have had peppermint if you're in the caribbean let me know if you make this in your part of the caribbean let me know if you try this recipe and i will see you in the next one okay bye <laughs>